Welcome back guys. So we're back at it with another video. Uh, this one is going to be a fun little one about mounting 08 to 16 F250 Super Duty style mirrors on a 2003 Ford Ranger. All right, this should help with the wind, but I'll tell you what, after I put these bad boys on, there wasn't anything I couldn't pull. Um, I'm probably going to keep these on permanently just because it, I saw a dramatic increase in horsepower. Uh, I was going to put a cold air intake for, you know, like the 50 horse, but these tow mirrors, I mean, they added at least a hundred. Um, the motor sounded even better. It sounded like a V8 after I put it on. Sheesh. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think these are the way to go for sure. So if you guys are wanting to put them on, they mount perfectly. No issues whatsoever. Uh, it was complete bolt on, no grinding at all. I, if you haven't done it, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I don't, if you have a Ranger and you wanted to pull like, I don't know, 50,000 pounds or hell, 200,000 pounds if you wanted, or just a semi truck load, just throw these on there. You could probably just honestly start your own business. You know, those guys that drive across state hauling campers and, you know, broken down trucks, stuff like that to auctions. You could do that with this. So these are definitely a money maker. Not only are you going to pull women, pull anything you put behind it and look like a bat, but I mean, like I said, if you're not doing it, I don't know what you're doing. So we're going to hop right into this video and I'm going to show you how perfectly well these things fit. Handle that fitment boy. I think, I think we got it. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's, that's freaking weird as heck. Of course, this does not bolt directly, as you can tell. There was tons of grinding and cutting. <laughs> we went from that and came from that. So, um, fits perfectly. I don't see any issues at all. I'll tell you what, that's actually, that, that's somewhat sturdy. It'll, it'll go on the highway. Oh gosh, I forgot. There you go. That's better. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's a lot better, I like that. Now it uh, just needs a, <laughs> it just needs a stack stack to complete it so we're gonna get started on this other side uh, now I know how to get this done a lot faster I was just kind of grinding and cutting um, so let's get started on the other side throw it on and do a walk around some people are gonna be salty because these are like 100 and ow oh, gosh dang I always hit my head on that dang thing I guess that happens when you're six, eight. Anyways, so uh, people are gonna be salty because I'm literally ruining like a $140 set of mirrors that came off the Super Duty. But as you can tell, I've got the 2017 style with switchbacks on it. And I don't really plan on ever throwing these back on. I always tell people I don't have them, but I held on to them because I'm like, well, one day, like if I, if I side swipe a tree or something like that, or I don't know wreck and I just knock off the mirrors I can just throw these on there since I already paint match but I don't know I guess I just buy another 2017 style set from boost auto or we just work out some type of a deal so I'm full setting these so you're gonna see a lot of grinding and cutting on these like I said it's gonna make people salty but oh well I'm not gonna do anything with them and I'm probably just gonna leave those on there for quite a bit people are gonna be telling me how dumb it is and it's gonna get a lot of hate but I really don't care. That's the point of content. That's why you guys are here. You want to see a freaking Ranger of Super Duty mirrors because no one does this. Everyone puts Cummins mirrors. So that's what I'm here for. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead, take the door panel off. It's got a screw down there, two screws in there. Got some clips you pop off here. This will come out. That'll come out. And then you're going to take out the speaker so you can get to the plug that goes to the mirror and then uh, I'm gonna pre-drill two holes so I can fit them uh, into the mirrors so right now I'm trying to get this done before Jordan gets here and I'm gonna have her look at the truck and be like did you notice anything different 
And if she doesn't notice the toe mirrors right off the bat, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna try and finish those real quick before she gets here. Alrighty guys, so like I said, two screws that were holding it in right here. You got one down there in the corner and I'm about to pull this one off right here and then this will just slide right up. Got that panel off. Now you take the speaker out and that'll get you to the plug that will unplug your mirrors. All right, so I uh, got that plug undone. Now it's ready to pull these three. What the hell is that? Anyways, so now it's time to pull these three screws out and then we're gonna get to uh, fabricating. Now, okay, that came out. Uh, now we're gonna pre, we're gonna tap some holes, bop, bop, somewhere in there. I'll have to like put it up there and like, kind of like guesstimate it. And then uh, we're gonna chop up the, I mean, fabricate the uh, 2008 mirrors on there. So, oh, you're gonna wanna delete the, uh, which side was it? You're gonna wanna delete those bolts right there. And uh, that'll get you to where you can properly mount this bad boy on there. Anyways, so I went ahead, lobbed those off. Now we're gonna switch wheels and I'm pretty much just gonna be like grinding off this entire, you can't really see it, this entire section, knocking it down and pretty much just gonna be a gradual slope up to these bolts. And I'm gonna be shaving off pretty much all this plastic around it to where it's just the bolts sticking up almost all the way with these. Um, I guess I'll just leave the plug. I'll just try not to cut it if I can. But uh, yeah, pretty much just gonna do that and time lapse it. And then uh, we're gonna throw this baby on the old Ranger. Would you, would, would it, it would be an F-250, right? It would be a Ford, no, half ton. So it'd be like an F-100, F-50, F-50, something like that. So we're about to make it an F-50. So this one actually went in almost perfectly. So I lined up these holes over here. Let me show you. Uh, all I did was just, so when I knocked off those two other screws is because the two screws are like right over here. Uh, the two bolts, I mean, on it. So cut those off. And then these two, all I did was kind of put it up there, uh, lined up those marks and I just freaking drilled them out. And uh, <laughs> we chopped this one up real good. So like I said, I was knocking that off so that it kind of sloped, like it went low and then high back up to here because this right here was causing it to hit before it would even touch those bolts right there. But all I gotta do is shave this down a little more because that's actually rubbing like right over there on that edge. So I'm gonna go ahead, shave that down and then we'll be uh, freaking balling. This one actually fits up better than that one. I mean, the gap's not as bad, honestly. I think this one's gonna sit way better than that one over there. But uh, now I'm gonna go over here on this side, put the, uh, let me see, uh, put the bolts in and uh, show you guys how tough this baby looks. So we got them on, uh, lost one of the bolts. I'm putting it back together, but I'm not really too worried about it. good mechanic always finishes with extra parts. Uh, got that one held in there pretty good. Snug as hell. So now time to put the door panel on the screws and uh, do a good walk around. So this was the first side that I did. And like, no matter what you do, I shaved so much off. Like you would have to shave it completely, everything all the way down, you know, past this metal brackets and everything just for this to sit flush. And not only that, but you're gonna be drilling a bunch of holes. You would have to drill holes on the other side too so that you could even fit bolts on there for your socket to fit, whatever tools you're using to, you know, cinch this down. Uh, I mean, like, it's actually, hold on, let me see. It's actually pretty sturdy. I mean, 
little bit of give, but I mean, it's like I said, it's pretty sturdy just for, <laughs> you know, what we did to it. This side actually came out better. It sits a lot closer. Um, it sits better, but like I said, there's, there's just no way you can make it fit. The way that this curve will not meet those body lines. Where's that freaking thing? See the, the curves on these mirrors versus a curve on that there'd just be no way you know you can make these properly fit so i mean more for just giggles but let's see what the uh what would you call it visibility is on these i guarantee it's freaking awesome all right oh sheesh Pretty dang good on these mirrors. Well, there's more bumps. <laughs> Imagine, gosh, I wish I had some 14 wides for this thing. But I mean, visibility is pretty dang good. And let's see how wobbly they are once they get up to speed. Oh, they're not that bad. Yeah, they're not bad at all, look at that. <laughs> I just had this truck pass me, broke their necks, I'm, I wonder why. It's part of the Ranger. I mean, just look at it, it's just, woo. Oh yeah, what the hell are these doing in? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now I just wanna say, I know what the feeling is like finally to have a, a truck you put a a lot of fabricating and hard work and time into. I've been working on this build for quite a while now and I think it's finally ready for me to show you guys the final stage. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we got a few little things still left for the Ranger. One of them includes installing my custom set of rock lights uh, that I got from FCK Light Bars. 
Uh, these are high quality. You're never gonna find anything like them on the market. Yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna install those rock lights in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna definitely put more than those four that we have and we're gonna make it a spaceship. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and turn those post notifications on and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you guys.